Hey guys, Acidex here and welcome back to a new video today. We're talking about getting the right mindset for getting better at things, right? So, you know, sometimes when you're learning something new, right, you've got that really nice, like, progression curve, you know, you're like, oh my god, like, you're on the rise, like, you're, you're learning so much, like, hell yeah, you know, and then boom, you plateau. And you, you look back and you're like, holy shit, like, I've improved so much, like, this is so great, like, wow. But then one day, you, you see someone else who's doing that same thing, but, like, a million times better than you, and you're like, how, how the hell? Like, I want to get on that fucking level, and you're, you're just kind of stuck at that plateau, you're like, where you're proud of the progress that you've made, but you also want to get better, but you don't really know which direction to take. And that's what I'm talking about. I actually kind of, like, realized the mindset that, like, I had a bit of an epiphany concerning this specific thing about two years ago, right? And it actually came while I was editing videos, so it's really relevant that I'm making a video about it now, you know? When I just started making YouTube videos, I used to make, you know, less plays and stuff, so it's pretty, you know, the editing is pretty fucking minimal. I just shot, slap on an intro, maybe an outro, I can't even remember if I had an outro, and then, you know, boom, done, export, upload, we're good. And then over time, this turned into, hey, at least I'm gonna, like, you know, try to cut out the boring bits or the parts where I stutter or where, like, you know, nothing really is happening, like, loading screens or whatever, like, you know, let's get rid of, get rid of that stuff. So, a, a, a few jump cuts here and there, and then it's like, you know what, like, I'm gonna spend more time, and then as time goes on, like, editing obviously took more and more time, but it was like, oh, like, I can do this, I can experiment with that, and, like, whatever, whatever. And, you know, it, it came a time where I was like, okay, you know what, like, I, I now spend, like, an hour editing a fucking, like, five-minute video, barely. Like, what more can I do? Like, I've already learned so much. And it's after I've already spent the hour, you, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go through it one more time, spend, give myself, you know, another half hour to go through it. Maybe add some more stuff, make it more fun, more entertaining, try some new things. And so it's really, you know, once you think you, you've you hit your limit and you push even further, basically it's about breaking out of your comfort zone. All of this was me trying to get to break out of your comfort zone, okay? Like, this you see that that's your comfort zone boom break through it and then behind that wall of your comfort zone that's where you will find true progress right because once you've hit that plateau progression is non-linear anymore like you can take so many different directions it's no longer just about getting better at stuff because you've covered all the basics now it's like where you want to take that skill that you have it's about expressing yourself through that and how do you find your voice through what you're doing is by experimenting through stuff and how do you experiment through stuff boom you break through that wall another example so this maybe a little less in the creative field it's like you're, you're going for a jog right you know the first time you went running probably ran 10 minutes and then you were like, I actually want to die right now. Like I am this close to like just passing out on the on the curb and then just laying there and wait for my family to come pick me up. But then the next time you went running, after those 10 minutes again, you were like, I want to kill myself. But you know what? You're you're gonna push yourself harder and push yourself through and run for I don't know a half a minute more. And the next time you go running, the half a minute, it won't be out of your comfort zone. It's like you can push another half of it. So now you ran for 11 minutes, you know? And, and you will really just like get better with breaking through that comfort zone wall. And yeah, it's tough. And you know, life's a bitch. <laughs> and, and sometimes you just want to stop there and you feel like you've done enough. But it's really in those moments that you need to tell yourself, like, I'm going to push myself more. Because that little bit of extra effort that you're putting in right now, like, even if it's, it seems like so big, the next time you're going to come and do it again, it won't even seem like effort anymore. It'll just be part of your normal routine and you can push yourself even further. So, yeah. I don't know why it took me, like, 18 years of my life to come to that realization. But in, in the case that you guys you know, a little slow when it comes to picking up on things like me, if you're like me, well, well then you're welcome because hopefully this video made you have a little bit of an epiphany as well. I also tweeted out last week to you guys, what are some of your ways to improve and stuff? And here are some of your tweets, some of your answers. Um, you know, some are more productive than others, <laughs> uh, but yeah. Thanks for all the answers, guys, and uh, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff. Turn notifications on so that you know when I go live with a new video. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!